Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. I am in Langkawi, Malaysia. We were just driving down the road and we stopped by at this wedding. It's wedding season and they graciously invited us into their, their yard where the wedding is set up and have just been extremely kind to us and they keep bringing us more and more food and this is just a beautiful, beautiful thing to experience a wedding um, which is both food and culture and things I, I love. Oh, this is buffalo. Buffalo curry. Oh, wow, that looks incredible. There's a lot of curry. Oh. Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo beef. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. Very tender. Yeah. Very soft. Yeah. That is extremely tender. I wasn't expecting it to be so tender. It's almost like it's almost like liver. It's so tender. Mmm. So they have brought us just a spread of all the dishes that they're serving at the wedding. This is one of the main wedding dishes which is buffalo, cooked curried buffalo with I see uh, bamboo shoots in here as well. There are some fried fish and this is a uh, chicken curry. In, in Thai I think this is called adim and I think in English it's taro stems. And then this one lastly is a dish of um, yellow mango shredded with onions and peanuts and long beans. And so I think the easiest thing to do is put a little bit on your rice of everything. I'm gonna take some of this mango. Oh, and I think there are anchovies in here as well. Just look at the color of that. Just look at that gravy. I think this is a, a mackerel. A little mackerel. The main event at a wedding in Langkawi is the buffalo curry, which I already got a taste of from the chef who fed me, and it is beautiful. It is so tender, it's unbelievably tender. Oh, some more gravy is never a bad idea. I gotta go in for another bite of the buffalo with some of those, um, some of those bamboo shoots. You mix in a little bit. Oh, that is good stuff. That, I'm just blown away by how tender that buffalo is. I think they must cook it for a very, very long time. Because um, buffalo does not sound... Well, I've had some very tough buffalo as well, but that is extremely tender. And it almost, it almost has like a, like a livery texture to it. Oh, that is like a... An insanely good, almost it, it almost tastes like a like a salsa, like a like a pineapple salsa. Okay, chicken curry. Let me tear up a piece of the chicken curry. That is a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, and a little bit sour. That's good too. That's good too. And then this is a little fried mackerel. And it's a little bit yellow, so I, mean, I think they might add some turmeric to it. And I think it's fried. I think it might be small enough that you can eat almost all the bones, but let me just take off some from the side there. Yeah, I'm always a lover of fried mackerel. It's something I could eat every day. And this is, these are the stems from the taro plant. That texture is just amazing. It is so like soft and just explodes with juice in your mouth. It's like a sponge that just soaks up all the juice of that of that dish. And that dish is it's actually kind of plain but just sour. 
they have just handed us another dish, and this is uh, the Langkawi version of laksa, which is noodles and curry. And this is a very interesting looking one. It's kind of a kind of like a pinkish watery soup, but you can definitely see some chilies in there. This almost looks like a, a slice of lime or something. And then there are cucumbers, there's an egg in here, and then the udon style noodles. Mm. That is almost like a refreshing taste. Um, it definitely has some pureed fish in it. Kind of has a smoky, fishy flavor. Um, and then with those cucumbers and sliced onions or shallots in it, it has a very refreshing, crisp flavor. That's awesome. Oh, it's some, so it is some kind of a citrus orange or something. And you gotta eat it with a soft boiled or hard boiled egg. Yeah, hard boiled egg. And get, oh that's gonna be good with that curry. I think this could be a very good breakfast dish because it's kind of light and refreshing, yeah. Oh, okay, I just got a, I just got a whiff of durian and that smells delicious from over there. Oh, being on gun, being on gun. <laughs> They have just they have just presented me with a half a durian. As we were sitting here eating, they literally went to a tree in the back and just picked this durian right off the tree for for us. So that is a uh, they are extremely generous and extremely kind. Um, yeah, really amazing people. And so I have no choice but to to grab a, a lump. Oh, and this oh this is a good one too. I can just feel by the texture. Oh, look at that yellow color. Oh, wow. There's just nothing better than a piece of durian at the end of your meal. Oh, actually, I'm only halfway through my meal and I'm, and I'm eating the durian, but... Oh, that is beautiful. That is extremely buttery. It's to the point of a little bit bitterness. It's a little bit bitter. Um, yeah, that's just like an ice cream on seed. That's just ice cream on seed. Oh man, that's good. Di malam hari terang senegeri, bulan purnama di hujung Julai. Okay, the, the groom is over there across the street, and it looks like he is, he's coming this way, and the bride is over here on this side of the street. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. We just left the wedding, uh, but that was uh, an absolutely memorable experience. I say a huge, huge thank you to the family, um, whom we, we don't even really know, but they graciously invited us into their home, um, fed us incredible food, and were just extremely generous and kind to us. So big, big thank you to the family and I, I very, very much enjoyed that experience. So that is a Malaysian Langkawi style wedding. Um, just a beautiful ceremony. And again, massive thank you to the family for, for hosting us and for their graciousness. Uh, that was awesome.